Hello everyone and welcome back to the DevOps shop. Home labs are vital for anyone in an engineering field who needs to improve their skills and familiarize themselves with new technologies. Today, we're going to step into the world of home lab environments using Proxmox and Casa OS. We'll begin with an introduction to these technologies before highlighting their differences and learning how to install them as well as use them together for the ultimate home lab setup. Finally, we'll wrap up with a summary and show you where to learn more about Proxmox, Casa OS, and all things DevOps. Proxmox is a popular and free open source server virtualization management solution which allows for the deployment and management of virtual machines and containers, consolidating hardware resources and simplifying server management. It provides two types of virtualization, container based with LXC, Linux containers, and full virtualization with KVM, kernel based virtual machines. It also includes a web based management interface, making it easy for users to manage VMs and containers, network settings, storage, and even cluster configurations. I first learned about Proxmox from my colleagues, so I have included links to their Proxmox articles in the description to this video. Casa OS, on the other hand, can serve as a lightweight, flexible platform for running and managing various applications and services within a home lab environment. It provides a unified interface to manage different devices and applications, making it easier to control and monitor your home lab services. Casa OS supports Docker and can run Docker composed applications, which is an essential feature for DevOps practices. With Casa OS supporting Docker, you can easily manage containerized applications within your home lab facilitating continuous integration, testing, and deployment workflows. Overall, Casa OS can be a valuable tool in a DevOps home lab, providing a platform for the deployment and management of applications in a streamlined, efficient manner. Differences between Proxmox and Casa OS as just mentioned, Casa OS has built-in support for Docker. This makes it easier to create, deploy, and run applications in Casa OS by bundling them along with their dependencies into a container. On the other hand, Proxmox, as a virtualization platform, does not natively support Docker. Proxmox's main function is to manage virtual machines and containers, specifically LXC containers. However, Docker can be installed and run inside a virtual machine or a container managed by Proxmox, but it's not natively integrated into the Proxmox. Proxmox platform. So, if you want to use Docker in a Proxmox environment, you will typically create a virtual machine or a container within Proxmox and then install Docker into that VM or container, in our case, Casa OS, and that's what we'll be doing later in this video. Here are the basic requirements for installing Proxmox. Many have installed it on an old laptop or tower they already own or purchased for a few hundred dollars. I went with a colleague's recommendation and purchased a mini PC for this purpose, which is a reasonable investment if you're considering a career in engineering. Whether you're running a small home lab or a large-scale business server environment, Proxmox offers a scalable and efficient solution for running and managing multiple operating systems on a single machine. I've included step-by-step -step instructions on how to install Proxmox in the description to this video. Although there is one important point I want to emphasize here. You want to have this device running Proxmox physically connected to your network by cable. Installing and using via Wi-Fi while possible is not easily accomplished. Now that we've got Proxmox installed, let's talk about installing Casa OS as a VM in Proxmox. You need to install Casa OS inside of a Linux OS VM such as Debian or Ubuntu. So first, install that Linux OS as a VM in Proxmox and install Casa OS inside of that. I provided the instructions on how to do that in the description to this video. Now that we've got both Proxmox and Casa OS set up, let's look at how these two can work together in creating a robust home lab environment. In this setup, Proxmox acts as the backbone of our lab. It's our main server virtualization platform, allowing us to create, run, and manage multiple virtual machines on a single machine. This is especially useful in a lab setting where we might want to run different environments for testing and development. Casa OS, running as a virtual machine within Proxmox, serves as our application management platform. Built on top of Docker, Casa OS allows us to easily deploy, run, and manage various applications within its user-friendly interface. It's like having a mini cloud environment right in our home lab. 
In practical terms, this means we can run multiple different applications in Casa OS, each in its own isolated container, while also managing and monitoring these applications easily through the Casa OS dashboard. And since Casa OS is running as a virtual machine in Proxmox, we can manage resources, create snapshots, and even replicate the entire Casa OS VM to other Proxmox hosts as needed. Overall, using Proxmox and Casa OS together gives us a lot of flexibility and control in managing our home lab environment, making it easier to experiment with different setups and workflows. Both Proxmox and Casa OS are more than just an operating system or a dashboard. Proxmox is an open source server virtualization management platform. While it does have its own operating system based on Debian Linux, it's more than just an OS. It's a comprehensive solution for managing virtual machines and containers, offering features like high availability, flexible storage options, and a web-based management interface. On the other hand, Casa OS, also based on an operating system, it's actually built on top of Docker, is not merely a dashboard. It's an open source project designed to be a simple and lightweight operating system for running and managing various applications. It provides users a user-friendly dashboard for managing these applications, but it also provides the underlying system to run them. So while it's correct to say that Proxmox and Casa OS both involved operating system components and provide user interfaces or dashboards for managing resources, they offer much more than just those elements. All in all, these are great tools for anyone interested in DevOps and home automation. Thanks for joining us today as we explored the home lab possibilities of Proxmox and Casa OS. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to stay updated. In the meantime, you can find us on the developer hub on the Cisco community. We're in the DevOps group hub.